friends, this is Anne Miranda. Let's read Henry and Mudge and the Snowman Plan by Cynthia Ryland with pictures by Susie Stevenson. Chapter 1. Contest On a snowy day in January, Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge saw a sign in a store window. It said, Snowman Contest, Saturday at the Park. A snowman contest, said Henry. Wow! Mudge wagged his tail. He always wagged his tail when Henry said, Wow! It meant excitement. And sometimes it meant dessert. Henry ran home to tell his father. Henry's father was in the basement painting a chair. He had green paint on his hair, across his nose, and in his mustache. Guess what, Dad? said Henry. Mudge was looking for a special old boot. What? asked Henry's father. He wiped some paint across his chin. There's a snowman contest on Saturday, said Henry. Snowman contest? said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his ears. Wow! Can we go? asked Henry. Sure, said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his elbow. Henry looked at his father. Henry looked at the chair. Dad, I think that chair has been painting you said Henry. Henry's dad looked at himself in an old mirror. He had green hair, a green nose, a green mustache, a green chin, green ears, and a green elbow. Henry's dad looked at Henry. He said, you should see me when I paint a house. Chapter 2 at the park. On Saturday, Henry and Henry's father and Henry's big dog, Mudge, went to the park. There were many people there. All of the people had things. They had shovels and spoons. They had hats and shoes. They had rocks and carrots and marbles and broccoli. Broccoli? said Henry to his father. And of course, they all had dogs. It looks more like a wagging contest to me, said Henry's father. Mudge wagged and wagged. Henry and his dad had already made their snowman plan. They looked at each other. They shook hands. Good luck, break a leg, and don't let the bed bugs bite said Henry's father. And they got to work. While Henry and his father built their snowman, Mudge visited. He visited a poodle. He visited a husky. He visited a dachshund who didn't want to visit him. He found a carrot to chew on. A chihuahua helped him chew it. Mudge finished his half first. It looked like the Chihuahua would finish hers sometime in July. Mudge wagged and gave her a kiss. Chapter 3 Snow Aliens By 3 o'clock, all of the snowmen were ready for the judges. Henry and his father looked around the park. There were snow people. There were snow cats. There were snow dogs. There were snow aliens. And one person had built a snow Abraham Lincoln. Wow, said Henry. 
the judges walked all around. Henry was feeling nervous. He held Mudge's collar. Holding Mudge's collar always helped when Henry was nervous. I hope they like ours, Henry said. Me too, said Henry's dad, holding Mudge's collar on the other side. Finally, the judges arrived. They looked carefully at the snowman Henry and his father had built. They looked at the front. They looked at the back. They looked all around. Finally, one of them asked, What is it? It's my dad when he's painting a chair, said Henry. The judges looked again and laughed and laughed. Mudge wagged and drooled on their boots. When the winners were announced, first place went to Abraham Lincoln. Second place went to a snow leopard. And third place went to the snowman with paint in his mustache. Yay! yelled Henry. Henry and Henry's father proudly looked at their prizes. One was a purple ribbon. It said, third place winner, most original snowman. And the other prize was a big box of snowman cookies. I'm sure glad you're a messy painter, Dad, said Henry. I'm even a messier eater, said Henry's father. And he and Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge took their prizes home and made a wonderful cookie mess. If you enjoyed this reading of Henry and Mudge, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel and visit our website at www.annmiranda.com. Until next time, waggy reading. <laughs>